Dubious ones, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going over some Marvel rivals again for you. Today now we are going to look at Adam Warlock and get a full breakdown on the man, the myth, the legend, Adam Warlock, potentially the greatest healer in the game coming to us in the Marvel Rivals beta. Now make sure you smash that subscribe button if you haven't already, leave a like on the video, and let's take a look at Adam Warlock. He looks absolutely beautiful model. Love it. Looks great. But we are here to look at some of these abilities of his. So let's get right into it. As you can see, his basic attack here is Quantum Magic, where you can launch quantum energy to deal damage. His 250 base health um, his left click attack, his base attack here, as you can see, quantum magic, boom, three headshots, and they are down. That is very, very quick. Looks hit scanned, super quick, no time at all. That looks really strong. Now you've got his cosmic cluster, where you will gather quantum energy into a cluster and then swiftly launch it at the enemy. This ability also looks very, very sick look at that you can charge it up it's with the right uh, mouse button obviously we don't know what the controller controls are going to be just yet but it's a beautiful attack i want to look one more time because you can charge this up and i'm i believe it can be a one shot depending on their health if you get headshots with it but absolutely very strong attack here we've got the afterlife stream where it's bound to e and if you target an ally for a bouncing stream of healing energy, which also heals himself upon casting, self targets. Um, self targets is no ally is if oh it self targets if there's no ally selected. So this will take two allies as they're taking damage, and it will split the damage between the two of them, as well as heal them at the same time, and it heals you. So you're gonna see as you can see it just healed him right there. It's healing some more. Oh, I'm sorry. I misspoke there. I was thinking of Soul Bond. The Afterlife Stream, sorry, just target an ally and bouncing a stream of healing energy. So this is just a straight heal. And this will also heal you upon casting. Um, and it will uh, self-target if no ally is selected. So this is just straight if an ally is taking damage. You can just straight up heal them. Boom, and you can see it bounced between two allies there. Now the soul bond is what I was thinking of. This is the left shift ability. This unites the souls of allies in a bond, granting them healing over time and distributing the damage taken across the bond. This is the ability I was thinking of here. So very cool that he has both healing abilities. This is very cool. This splits the damage up if one person's taking damage, so they um, lose health slower because it's being split between two characters. and it also gives them healing over time, which is incredibly powerful. This is why I think he's going to be one of the, if not the strongest healer that we have in the beta here. Regenerative Cocoon. This is a bonkers passive ability. Once he goes down, once his body perishes, Adam can freely move as a soul and reforge his body at a chosen spot. So he can move around the map after being taken down to a more advantageous position and then just revive himself. It's absolutely bananas. Chat, just look at this. He goes down. As you can see, we're not moving around here, but he can move himself and position himself into a better position and then just instantly revive. There is a time gate on it after using it, but as you're seeing here, it's not very long. Um, so it's pretty crazy. Um, oh, I'm sorry. No, so there is 117. The cooldown, let's take a look. Let's take a look one more time. There was a cooldown there. It's about 120 seconds. So you have about a two-minute cooldown on that. So you're not, okay, it's not as bad as I thought, chat. It's not as bad as I thought. You can't constantly just be regenerating yourself if you're dying over and over. It does have a two-minute cooldown. But if you can stay alive for two minutes every time you go down in a fight... You can choose where to respawn and respawn. That's absolutely nuts. Now, his passive team-up ability that he has 
with, in my opinion, one of the strongest characters in the game in Star-Lord. And then you have Mantis, who just got a bunch of buffs in the patch. If you haven't checked it already, I left a video on the patch notes. You can take a look at that video right after this to see all the patch notes, to see the bonuses and the buffs that Mantis got. Um, but Adam Warlock enhances the rebirth power of Star-Lord and Mantis, granting the power of Cocoon Revival. So not only can he self-res, but he can revive his teammates. Uh, it's just as a passive. They get the same ability as him when you're teamed up together. That is absolutely nuts. This is going to be one of the strongest commendations, mark my words, in this beta. Look at that. They go down. Both of them get to restore all their health. Boom. They're alive and well. That is an absolutely bananas passive ability. Now we get to take a look at this beautiful Cosmic Jade attire. As you can see here with the green, it looks absolutely beautiful. And you can see it with some of the MVPs. But I know what you're thinking. You want to see his ultimate. You want to see his alt. And I'm not going to disappoint for you guys. Let's take a look at his alt. Here you can see the soul bind in action as he can, or just the, the uh, healing ability as he can just constantly heal them. That charge up attack nearly one shot at that, um, that bot right there. As you can see, the longer you charge it, the more damage it does do. Absolutely incredible. But let's take a look at his ultimate, the strongest, in my opinion, in the game, the strongest alt if you're playing a healer. If you're playing a healer, and you're going for capturing the zone or something, and your team goes down, you can instantly revive your teammate on the spot from where they were. It doesn't give them full health, so as you can see, but he can then just instantly heal you guys right after he revives them. He can just start healing them right away. Absolutely bonkers. Bonkers, chat. Mark my words. My words. He is going to be the strongest healer in the the game bar none in my opinion from what i'm seeing here it's bananas and as you can see with the team up as we saw before if mantis and star lord go down boom they cocoon right back into the match right back in and especially for a star lord are you kidding me with the damage output star lord has and you can just instantly be revived as long as you have an adam warlock on your team my goodness the team compositions it's going to be madness madness let's take another look here just instantly revives them but what i was more impressed by again is the ultimate when they go down when your team goes down on a point and i don't know if it's capped at two players i'm assuming he can revive an entire team anyone within this range of this circle here so you best believe if you're playing in matches and you see an Adam Warlock on the other team, focus him down. And focus him down twice because he's going to revive when you get him down the first time. It's nuts. Absolutely nuts. The amount of healing this guy has, he is going to be an asset on every single team composition you have. I think you're going to see a lot of Adam Warlock in this beta. But dubious ones, if you haven't already, smash the like button, give me a subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I will see you guys shortly in the beta. We are not far away now, and I will be streaming all throughout the beta, so stay tuned to the channel. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you all have an amazing day, and I will catch you all in the next one. Dubious ones. Jesus.